Okay guys, so here is some more information in regards to particles that are coming from the centre of our galaxy. And interestingly enough, this information was published on the very lamestream Mail Online, which was published on the 2nd of January 2013. Unfortunately, the science they use to explain these particles that are coming from the centre of our galaxy are based on the very flawed Big Bang gravity driven universe theory that was not surprisingly postulated by a Catholic priest. We need to understand that science as we know it today is no different to religion. It's all about indoctrinating us into believing we are beings of limit and we are existing in a very limited universe. The fact is we are infinite electric beings existing in an infinite electric universe of infinite potential and of course they do not want us understanding that because that would empower us and they want us disempowered because basically we are slaves and we are not here to think we are only here to believe whatever they tell us we should believe so with that out of the way let's have a look at the article so it goes on to say the mystery of the monster charged particles coming from the centre of our galaxy, but don't panic, astronomers say they aren't dangerous. Outflows contain an extraordinary amount of energy, about a million times that of an exploding star. Okay, so here we have this exploding star myth. If you would like to understand the true mechanisms of a star, please look into the electric universe model. Also goes on to say, Believed to be caused by star power from many generations of exploding stars, researchers say they pose no harm to Earth but could be crucial to magnetic fields. Now, if they're crucial to magnetic fields, this means that we will be affected by this energy in some way. So, I do not believe that these energies are something that pose a threat to us. But for these scientists to dismiss them completely and say that they will not affect us in any way because they're too far away is totally incorrect. Everything that happens within our universe affects us in one way or another. It's all about correspondence. And to say that this energy is not going to impact us in any way is totally incorrect. And, uh, you know, we will feel these energies. Seen from Earth, the outflows stretch about two-thirds across the sky from horizon to horizon. Mysterious monster outflows of charged particles from the centre of our galaxy stretching more than halfway across the sky have been detected by astronomers. Researchers say they contain an extraordinary amount of energy but stress that they pose no harm to us. The researchers were able to map the cosmic geysers of gas. Now, they're saying that they were mapped with the CSIRO's 64 metre Parks radio telescope in Australia, and that the outflows were detected by astronomers from Australia, the USA, Italy, and the Netherlands. Now, unfortunately, they don't go on to say that these energies are something that they've only just begun to observe. In fact, they don't tell us any information about when they did begin observing these energies now being emitted from the centre of our galaxy. It goes on to say that the findings are reported in today's issue of Nature and that they pose no danger to Earth or the solar system. It goes on to say that uh, these energies are not coming in our direction but go up or down from the galactic plane. But as I mentioned, this really is absolutely of no truth. I mean, regardless of whether they go up or down from the galactic plane, we will feel these energies eventually. And it goes on to say that we are 30,000 light years away from the galactic plane and they are no danger to us. Seen from Earth, the outflows stretch about two thirds across the sky from horizon to horizon. The outflows correspond to a haze of microwave emissions previously spotted by the WMAP and Planck space telescopes and regions of gamma ray emission detected with NASA Fermi Space Telescope in 2010, which were dubbed the Fermi Bubbles. However, the WMAP, Planck and Fermi observations did not provide enough evidence to indicate definitely or definitively the source of the radiation they detected. 
So they really don't understand this radiation, guys. They really do not know. But they are not about to tell us that because they like to present themselves as the holy grail of knowledge when it comes to the universe and that they understand everything that's going on out there. They also go on to say that the key to determining this was to measure the outflow's magnetic fields and that we did this by measuring a key property of the radio wave from the outflows and their polarization. The new observations also help to answer one of astronomers' big questions about our galaxy, how it generates and maintains its magnetic field. Well, basically, that's incorrect because they are basing all of their science on a completely flawed model. And once again, they don't go on to say if this is something they have only just witnessed because they have only just discovered it, or whether this is energy that has only begun to be emitted from the core of our galaxy. But once again, it's about us connecting the dots and understanding that they are never really going to give us the full picture. Anyway, I found that interesting because it's all about energy coming from the galactic core. I also find it interesting that they didn't mention the G2 cloud and I think that that is pretty interesting that we have the G2 cloud that is going to collide with our galactic center mid-year and we know that science has said we will feel a shockwave in regards to this collision between this G2 cloud and the galactic core, but they don't feel that this information is important to relay in this article. Anyway, I will post the article underneath, guys, and you can check that out for yourself. As always, peace out.